Uh, hello, Grubs. Hi. Welcome to the Monday stream. We are back. Wait. So, uh, today I thought I'd challenge myself a little bit. So, we're trying the MS Paint palette only challenge. Hi, Chubby Yesno. Hi, by the way, hi, Jadix, and hi, Leo. Um, I need an image so that I can share this. Hey, Jay, how are you doing? How is everybody doing? Wait, let me make a little post about this. So first, I thought we need kind of colorful, colorful things. So I'll make like a few quick sketches, I guess. Hey, bloody tooth. Hey, Adri. So I thought the welcome home thing, even though I know nothing about it yet, uh, makes a lot of sense. I also thought maybe the don't hug me, I'm scared crew would work super well. And now I'm kind of also inspired to drawing the Beatles in the I am the walrus outfits and all. I feel like that would kind of make sense, right? How is everybody? Hello, Grabs. Wait, is this, this does not work like that? Um, uh, wait, give me a second. Draw Poppy. Uh, welcome home. Is that a... <laughs> give me a little bit of context. Because I'd be happy to. But I just need to understand what I'm... <laughs> what I'm drawing. And I need to look it up, right? Welcome home. This puppy from that. Because there's also a, the puppy playtime. Oh, the um, the bird. Right? Doing good. I said I had a concert. I kind of read about it. Uh, you played trumpet? That sounds pretty cool. I love when the instruments... I love the trumpets and the saxophones. I don't know what else, but those are pretty pu puppies, the big red bird from Welcome Home. Sure. Let's draw several characters. I, I thought you'd be my, how do you call it? My specialist, my um something. I can't, I can't recall what word would it be, but You'd be the person that knows the knowledge so that we can make things happen a lot better since last time I was here, most graduated. Congrats! Congrats to all the graduates uh, this time. Doing good, like I said. I had a look, but it looks interesting. Yeah, it kind of does. I need Wally to feed my addiction for Welcome Home. Let me just grab this, uh, he and he, ah, oh, damn. I just want to make a post about it real quick. Um, I guess this one works. Sorry about this, Grubs. Ah. By the way, hey, Demon. By the way, uh, for now, give me the characters you want me to draw from Welcome Home. I'll... So today what we're doing is basically just using the colors from MS Paint instead of the usual every color that I do. This is more like, okay, we're just doing this one. The simple colors. So you're saying I'm like the smartest on Welcome Home here? Well... As far as I know, uh, I would guess. <laughs> yeah, 
you're my expert on the issue. That's that's right. Limon, did you change your profile pic? I don't see anything, so that's gonna. Or I see it's kind of grayed out, so. It was kind of weird. All right, let me, I'm almost done with this post that I've been struggling to make all the while we're talking. I just want uh, probably a few other people to get here if we can. All right. Uh, There we go. This makes sense. I'll just... It's the same as always. Oh, I can see it now. Somehow I didn't... I wasn't able to see it before. Now there you are. Alright, made the post. Sorry about that. Um... Let's go. Okay, so as I was saying, we're drawing that. We're drawing a few things, I, I, I feel. Um, we're trying to do the only using... So let's... Wait, what? Now my tablet's not working? <laughs> what? All right. Connect, disconnect. When Dung turns into a famous beetle and a billion people appear here, I'll always remember the five of us. <laughs> I will too. But... Who knows? Who knows? Okay, now I can draw. Sorry about that. So, basically the colors would be... We can only use this... Um, every single one of... These colors and i feel um the welcome home sh characters kind of work off these right um i mean i i kind of wish I, I had my usual you know crazy colors going on at the same time but today this is the challenge right we want to make this work Wait, do I... Should I... Maybe I should actually... This would actually look prettier if I... Expect all... All expect purple. Wearing a maid dress. <laughs> oh, you mean the... VTuber. Ah. So, yeah, let's rearrange this a little bit just so that it doesn't look as bad. I wasn't expecting this one to be the, you know, The ones that we would use, but it kind of looks cute over here like this. So I thought I'd actually leave it there. Oop. Personal little over <laughs> address. And play trumpet. The trumpet. Let me play the trumpet. Um. Uh, what was the song that you played, Leo? So I'll, I'll play it on stream. Hi, Maddie. Hi again. Welcome back. Nice to see you all. 
we're only getting started on the fun so if anyone so i'm just planning on making them like doodle-ish but hopefully it will still look good enough careless whisper can i play it on on my i don't, I don't even know if my trumpet translates well into the mic what is it Yeah, that that's actually a saxophone. <laughs> but yeah, I have always had my trumpet ready, right? <laughs> All right, enough messing with this. Let's do let's do some doodling. Still give me give me all right, let's do this. Let's start with the main character thingy, right? I'm Sunspit's strongest soldier. I could be. I think I have a, a good trumpet sound going on. So it's actually interesting. I have an idea for the the main one. I feel like I usually see see them painting over a canvas. Usually like a little bit Bob Rossy, right? Bob Ross E. If I have no fans you're dead, why? Oh, I see. Wait, which one are you, are you starting off in? Me? Well, I'm doing this pompadour. Pompadour little guy. Right? Honestly, I don't know. I, I was expecting... Uh, I was actually going to ask if you have any links. Um, not for the stream but at least after so that I can actually um understand a little bit of the lore I'd be interested in knowing where to start right it's Wally yeah it's the Josuke <laughs> for me it's the Josuke of the welcome home universe um that's th the way I see it So right now we're kind of doing just the back of a canvas because I, I see Wally usually painting, right? I'm watching the stream while doing stuff for university. You make it less painful. Oh, I'm glad. Hopefully I don't distract you too much, but it's nice to know that I'm still there. I like that vibe of that you grubs to get to work and stuff while also kind of watching. Yeah, good luck with this university stuff. But don't worry, I don't understand anything either. I just like the drawings and the weird things I see sometimes on TikTok. I don't even know a thing at all. I just know it is a thing, but I like the style and I thought it was... Um, I always wanted to do this MS Paint only, colors only challenge, but I never knew what to do it on. Because, you know, it is important to pick something that is colorful enough so that you would use every color, hopefully. But, and I think this is colorful enough. Well, the set is down right now for work, but I suggest watching Night Mind's video. Does it go into any theories so you can make your own theories? That sounds interesting. I do like 
um, seeing theories, but I also do like having my own idea at first. That is always um, pretty good, right? So we're doing like this back of the canvas. These are usually, I don't honestly fully know. Um, I don't remember fully how they are. I'm just doing it kind of by memory. I believe it's like the cloth type thing, canvas, um, stapled on the board, I guess, on the frame. I have to carve some wood tomorrow and make some little pieces for a sculpture tomorrow. Oh, a wood sculpture? Sounds interesting. There's so many better 16 color scheme than one of Spain comes with us. Users. Got tons of dirty. Really? Like this. And then. I wonder something though. Um, I wonder. Okay. Let me know, Grubs, and I, uh, I guess this is cheating, but I I'm just wondering, is it, is it okay if I mixed colors? I, I guess it's cheating, right? So, for example, let's say I wanted, um, a greenish yellow, so we do like this, and then... We do like this. This would be cheating, right? Uh, I'm not allowed to do this, I guess. So we would have this color in between these. It's cheating. All right, all right. <laughs> you know, I'm always trying to think outside the box. Um, that's why. It's not cheating, it's practically necessary. No, I I feel like I can make it as it is. And then maybe at the end we could do one where we actually cheat. So we mix in colors. I feel like that may be allowed, right? It's cheating. <laughs> yeah, let's let's leave it as um Let's leave it as it is cheating for now. And at the end, we get one um, where we can cheat, right? Just for fun. Just to see what we can make out of it. My opinion is cringe. <laughs> Though, I, I'm i kind of in your side. Um, but for the sake of the challenge, I feel like we do need to... Um, you, you know, we think outside of the box, that's, that's what happens. They're trying to keep us inside of the box. That's the problem. No, but, um, but for real, I feel like it's part of the challenge. So we might get that as a thing we can make later, but or a thing we can use later. But for now, the challenge still stands. As only those colors, no variations, no mixing. Only that. And I'm making a sculpture that has pieces that dangle. Um, is Wally a lefty? Or I guess right handed, right? So. Okay, it's gonna be hard to do what I thought I wanted to do maybe if I no oh I know what I can do let's grab this over here let's I want to make it real close right well he has to be a painter right I feel like I've seen him a few times holding paintings or something like that. If I'm doing this wrong, then I guess this is... He paints with his right. Thank you. 
if I'm doing this wrong, that I, I felt like, but I had kind of him as being able to use boat. I can see that. I can see that honestly. Wait. So much concentration for this. He is a painter. Let's go. So guys, a friend of mine is coming. So be good. Is that true? Time to make them a grub. I don't want to be good. I want to be evil. My fingers smell like nail polish. Why? Oh, I, I honestly don't like the smell of nail polish. I don't know why it just uh, doesn't go well with me. But, and I don't honestly fully like nail polish, but recently I tried a, a, a fun style. I mean, it was like a few months ago, but I tried a, a fun style that could suit me and I, I don't think it was that bad so yeah kind of turned on it a little bit still I don't like the smell and I've never I, I've never had long nails but in this past week I guess I don't know if it's been a week or how long has it been uh, this is the first time I, I've let my nails grow longer I feel like a little bit feral or something I don't fully fully know if I like it um, but sometimes I get into weird like um, how would I call them I tried doing like weird experiments like, oh, let's see how long my hair grows. So let's see how long my nails grow or let's see how this goes on. Things like that. So it's pretty funny to me that sometimes I, I do weird things like that. So I'm trying to get a little bit of the proportions right I want to make this as if you can just acrylic paint your nails this stuff never lasts mm, let's see I think I may need to make this bigger because I want it to look like it's almost coming towards us. And then how would you hold this? Uh, reference. I had journal clips on my nails. Oh, so you mean ladybugs? <laughs> like this. I should be quicker with this, but I don't know. At the same time, I at least want to make one visually interesting drawing sometimes when i when i do doodles or when i make sketches and things like that i don't feel happy with the end result somehow it always kind of feels like i could have done better or it doesn't represent my art style so well so 
that's why I guess sometimes I feel like a try hard when it comes to at least trying to make one cool painting. Although that that ends up being like I end up taking too long to draw. <laughs> Had really long nails once, they started to grow and I liked them, but ended up having to cut them because school is brutal. People keep calling me, yeah. That's uh, pretty mean and bad. I, I don't feel like... Like, I'm pretty cis, I'm hetero, so... I don't feel there's even a reason to say that, but... I guess uh, people are weird sometimes. And mean. Um, I always, I always thought, I don't know if everyone will get the reference, uh, uh, when I was younger, I always wanted to do an Inuyasha cosplay, and I always thought to myself, oh, if I, if I do that, I should probably, like, grow my nails out like really long and I don't know I thought that would be cool I think but who knows like this um, so I thought I, I had my nails long like this but uh, wait what? Since when are we like this? I didn't even know we had all this space up here in the canvas. <laughs> okay, but I guess uh, for now we'll we'll keep on being here. Don't worry about it, bro. Don't worry. Skidaddle, skidoodle. Your canvas is now a square. Yeah. Somehow it always has been. But never noticed. Never even noticed. Wait. Does this post even make sense? I guess it can. So let's let's kind of post post it out. I guess let's kind of see how what we're wor working with. Um, in a way, right now this doesn't feel anything like the challenge because. We're just doing black and white. Oh, we we actually. Oh, no! I think this is fine. Okay, so let's copy our canvas just so that we can paste it over again if we need to. Let's grab this color. So this is like. Kind of how I'm seeing it. Right. I know the mouth is not fully like this, but I kind of like this for a Muppet-ish mouth. So, right now we're doing it like a sketch. Right? Kind of feels like a frog, honestly. But I guess it's not too far off when we think about other people. B 
behave yourselves? I'm scared. Hi. Did you scrap my elf? <laughs> my ball head. What happened? I'm not sure if that counts as behaving, but hey. Welcome to the... Welcome home. Drawing. Toodling. Stream. Are they also a fan? Of uh, Welcome Home? Of some sorts? Bald. Bald. What was the... Um, Spongebob thing? Behave note? <laughs> Go crazy? I don't want to go too crazy with the hairstyle though. This is like too big. It needs to be like the right amount. Eat the new one. I don't know if he can tell considering his internet is so bad. <laughs> well, I still hope. They're having a good time. We need a little bit more of a forehead, so I guess let's let's plan the forehead out. Just <laughs> using dial-up internet, using the whole sound effect and all. <laughs> Do they also play an instrument? Wait, that isn't that weird. Mine's a rectangle. Okay, I think... On it, uh, Funnily enough, I'm guessing the friend is called friend. And I think that chat is really delayed. <laughs> But who knows, who knows. Hi. Welcome, friend moon boy. Oh, hello. Everything loaded? Yeah, it kind of looks like it did a little bit delayed. The friend is the friend. It's just funny because you said a friend was joining in and literally a friend joined in. Moon Moon. Friend of San Leo. Are you drawing Wally? Well, uh, I think it is. <laughs> I'm drawing the welcome uh, home main main guy, right? So, honestly, I don't know anything about um, Welcome Home. I just thought it would be a great way to get a little bit introduced to the idea. And because Wally, it seems, and all the Welcome Home show characters, they do have quite the few rainbowy colors. So I thought, hey... Rainbows, a must paint palette, let's go. Kinda works. Hopefully. We'll see when when we we advance in the challenge. Are you also a welcome home fan? Is that why why you joined? Why you joined us today? <laughs> Welcome home is still a mystery to me. The characters do have cool designs though. Yeah, I kind of feel the same way. <laughs> Although I probably know a lot less than you. But hey, it's never too late to learn, right? I want to do like really outward projecting ears. Because I feel like that's the way Muppets have ears right like 
let's do a front side. So they usually have like we could do like buttoned up eyes. So they're like usually a button or something. And then the mouths are like just a flat thing that when you look at it from the side, they look like this. This kind of looks like the, what's it, what's its name? The thingy. Oh, hello. You played trombone? Let's go. I thought you would play something. Graduating soon and I like painting. You do? Uh, do you paint like traditionally? Or digitally? Just eat the new one? No, please. I'm against grubs eating grubs. What are we eating? Well, so you, well, I guess uh, if you would consider myself part of, if you could, you would, uh, sorry. <laughs> if you would consider yourself part of the community, you become a grub. This is, this is you, the grub. Because I'm a beetle. So, for some reason, you grubs cannibalize on each other, so that's basically what you grubs are planning to eat somehow. So, for some reason. Okay, so I like this. Oops. Come on. Wrong placement. My god, friend. <laughs> Since we're talking about instruments, I can play pani piano. Paint traditionally, but I'm still learning. That's fine. We're always on that journey to learn more, right? How low is their button-up thingy? Brother doesn't know he's about to be eaten. No, please don't. I'm against it. By the way, friend, I'm against it, so... You know, I, I tried... I tried stopping this. Even though I probably couldn't. He was only born yesterday. Well, as a grub, he was basically only born today, right? So that is actually true. That is actually part of the canon, right? In my final hours, I will... Uh, yeah. <laughs> my brain is worms to hell, so I thought you meant... Except... Oh, yeah, like a uh, worm and wussy. A wussy? <laughs> I mean, I feel like I would also think about that, too. You were born at the start of the concert, yes. And also they were born playing the trump the trombone. That's pretty impressive, honestly. Couldn't do it myself. Let me play my own rendition of uh What did you guys play? The 
memory. Oh, did you know that I was once part of a cat's theater play? I was one of the twins. I don't remember the name. Twins, cats. No. Twins, cats, uh, Broadway. Mungo Jerry and that thingy. Rumpelteasen? Something like that? Yeah, I made the I did the whole dance and singing and stuff. I I the only thing I couldn't do were the um card instead of instead of doing the whole full like standing up card wheel this I don't know this like this. I did it only like this. Like almost down by the floor and just rolling really simply. There was a, there's a really funny story about that, but maybe I'll tell it some other day. Dung anime cat boy. <laughs> you know, I never thought about it that way, but I guess there was a time where Dung cat boy was canon, right? There's only like one or two existing photos of that though. And okay, I'll I'll tell the funny story because um I feel like I will tell it someday too, but it will be a lot, lot later. So what happened was that we started practicing. I got into that play because of some friends. They really wanted to make it happen. So they went to the theater teacher and they basically made it happen and I don't remember what I auditioned for. I, I think I just said like, yeah, I'll do whatever. And I think I, um, my friends were a couple and they, um, they wanted me to participate. So I ended up being the, um, like I said, the twin cat, the Mungo Jerry to the Rumple teaser. Um, and what happened was that I think my friend, who was uh, my twin in the play, um, like they got the teacher. That that teacher was pretty weird sometimes. So what happened was that she had favorites, and she started moving people around. So at some point, I stopped. I wasn't playing the twin with my friend so they actually um you know they set up the whole thing they tried making it happen especially because um my friend's partner which was my i'm getting mixed up so okay so th my friend was this one and this is the partner of my friend so we were the twins, right? And what happened was that they changed her for someone else, and then they changed that person for someone else. And then they started playing another character, but they needed a time slot for when the play was gonna be, let's say 8 p.m., because that's when her family or her dad was gonna be able to, to see her. But they gave that time slot to another person, which was like the favorite um, of the teacher. So these two, my, my friends basically ended up bailing on the play. And I was like, 
well, I kind of don't want to play it if they aren't there. But I still also feel like a little bit sad about this too. Or I guess the people who are still playing the play. And then I got to know that like we were paying ourselves for our um, costume designs instead of the school paying for us. And I was like, well, you know what? I'm bailing on this too, huh? <laughs> I was like, you know what, if I'm gonna pay and my friends aren't gonna be there, this is the perfect time for me to exit this. And I did. Uh, but I still played it a few times, uh, but on simpler settings, I guess, on school. That is almost, they both blue. Dude is Sonic almost. He's out, boys. He's out, bail. Yeah, a little bit like that. So it was fun, though. And I think I really did really well. I love I love theater. I love um, plays like that. And I wish I could do something nowadays. But I don't even know where and how and what. I feel, honestly, honestly, I feel like I would do even though I, I do not know um too much about it I would do a pretty good Beetlejuice I'm not even kidding I feel like I don't know I could just raspy up my voice a little bit and act a little bit crazy and there we go John Tron So yeah, that was my little arc as uh, playing the cat's role for school. But who knows? Who knows? I do feel like I want to, you know, be on a play, something cool like that. I'm in love with the Beetlejuice musical. I've only seen a few animatics. That's all I've seen, but those are super super fun and I feel like I could do pretty well um, and honestly even if I don't get the main role or anything I always love playing things that people think fit me so for example I think uh, there was this um, little dance at school when I was really young so what happened was that we were gonna be, uh, we're gonna do like a little show, Batman style. So we were all gonna be Batmans, but the teacher said like, "Oh, we we need some, we need some villains and we need some other characters and things like that." And I thought, "Hey, yeah, I'd be." I don't know who I said I, I would be. I think I said I could be Robin or something. I just didn't want to be Batman. I always like sticking out a little bit. And they were giving other villains to other people. And there was one person who was like super fit to being Robin. So I wasn't going to be Robin. But they gave me, hey Blossom No Sleep, how are you doing? So they gave me the role of the Riddler. And to this day, I, I think that was pretty genius because I do fit, I do really fit the role of the Riddler. And I don't know. I'm the Riddler. I have school now. I wish I could be here to witness the entire stream. Oh no. <laughs> You can come by later, hopefully. Uh, I'll probably still be here. I'm pretty slow at drawing, and whenever I do get distracted, I I seem to slow down even more when I'm telling something, some type of tale, right? Dung is just a neurodivergent attractor. You know, I've been told that in real life too, right? I've been told, like, 
um, I'm probably a little bit neurodivergent. I'm not sure. I've never uh, taken and taken any tests per se, but I do feel like people around me are, and they pretty much vibe with me. Vibe with me because of that too. So who knows? Who knows? I feel like. Honestly, sometimes I do feel like everyone is to a, to a point, like there's a spectrum. And the only thing that happens is that, let's say this is the, I guess, normal, that, what is the non neuro what's the other side? This is the ne neuro, oh, neurotypical and neurodivergent. So... I think the problem is that people are like people who are neurodivergent are over here, right? But I'm almost like over here, like just a little step and I'll crawl on the other side. But sometimes I feel like I'm over here, but but who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Hey, MJ. Would you just go to a neurologist for something like that? Me? Um, well, I'm not sure if I have any issues with it right now, but maybe I should. I don't know. I think it's a psychologist or a psychiatrist. Something. It must be something. One of us, one of us. Your email, check it. This, there's an anime version of you in it. Really? Whoa, let me check it though. Okay. I'm excited to see what this is. <laughs> you know what this, do you know, um, Nyan Neko Sugar Girls. Neko Sugar Girls. It's a little bit like that. Can I can I share it? <laughs> no, it seems like it's doing alright. It is an anime version of me. And it's pretty interesting that uh to see I have like a little bit of a fully coolly horn going on <laughs> in under two minutes it is pretty great it's like this right it is not <laughs> I like it this is my my new era right now Wait, this is... This is the new meta. No, this is me. Hi, Grubs. <laughs> it actually looks like it fits, right? <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Oh my god, you're right, Dung. <laughs> About what? <laughs> I'll leave it there for a few moments while we... While we draw. Yeah, this is the new meta, exactly. The anime boy era. With this, I'm gonna be famous now. This is all that was missing. Now the world is mine. 
世界で一番お姫様<笑>um hopefully we'll see you again next time remember i try to stream every monday um but yeah see you have a good night and don't let the bed bugs bite bye bye hear me out utao dong what's that bro he got decapitated <laughs> yeah i saw i'm sorry I just noticed. Wait, I'm gonna drink water right now. Honestly, I don't even have a good bottle of water right now. I had one of those big ones. So it's like this. It's like a big several gallons chug jug. Ah, Ooh, that's crazy. So, so what do you guys think? They were literally a friend, right? <laughs> Thank you for being relatively normal. I mean, I feel we were normal to our standards, right? Um, which is, I don't know if there's much to say about that. I, you're first. <laughs> I'm not easy, easy masking. <laughs> Next time, Jadix unmasked. Next time, on the Beatles stream, Jadix unmasked. You have to go now? Okay, I see. Um, hopefully I'll see you next time. I uh, hope you're still doing good. You don't go to sleep. Uh, sleep is important and the sleeping schedule is super important. So I understand. Um, thank you for being here. Have a good night and don't let the bed books bite. See you next time, Jay. Hope you had fun. I don't know what I'm doing, but I need to. 
I'm doing this so that I can This is me trying to be faster, right? Guys, I need to know about something. I need to know something important about all of you. Saying a lot, but yesterday I hit myself in the head with a car door. It hurt a lot when I put pressure on it. Um, if you still feel like there's something wrong with you in a few days, you should probably go and check that. <laughs> Uh, tell me your most hated character designs. Huh. That's a tough one for me. I would really have to think about it. Um, I think for a while I couldn't stand the Uncle Grandpa design. Honestly, nowadays I feel like I don't care as much. I could probably even watch it and not be bothered by it. But when it first came out, something about it just didn't feel right to me. That Frankenstein guy from Soul Eater? <laughs> Why? I feel like everybody likes that character, so... It's pretty interesting that you don't. Uh, generalize? I don't think they meant generalize. Um, I feel like that's an answer you can give if you want, but yeah. Um, definitely, definitely lollies, but I also like those animal mascot characters that get too mascotized. But like, also, oh, okay, I see. Like also those. Uh, I'm not sure which characters get too mascotized. Like, for example, Crash Bandicoot? I feel like Crash Bandicoot has gotten softer when he was like more wacky and crazy. And no, you hate Danganronpa characters design so much. I do like them like quite a lot. So I want to play Danganronpa one in the future on stream probably. Because I've only played the first one. And even then I have played it a long while ago. So that would be pretty interesting to me. And I like... I like the style overall. But then again, that's only my point of view. I had all the Genshin character designs. I think Genshin... I feel I've seen a few fun designs. But something I don't usually like is that I don't know why I never get into medieval or fantasy like um designs it, I don't know it's something with me I, I kind of prefer more I guess the sci-fi look or if we're talking about old looking stuff like if it's like Japanese style or something like that since I'm very much a weeb I love all the old style looking stuff for that but when it comes to like European medieval uh, I honestly do not get that much into that Genshin characters are the pale <laughs> I think it's just a bruise on my head. I'll be sure to put some ice in it or something like that if you need to. Or whatever helps. But yeah, I can see that only being a bruise. So, 
I'm just saying, like, if you feel, like, big discomfort, then you might want to get that checked up. But otherwise, yeah, I, I agree. Alright, I need to... Wait. Oh, I forgot what the wooden stand... What's it called? The canvas stand? Is it just called that? Star Platinum, also a key from Jojo is ugly. <laughs> no, I like Iggy. I love ugly dogs, I do too. I like Iggy. Iggy is so fun. So, I like, I like their design. I stand Iggy. And, you know, okay. You know what I will say about Iggy that I didn't really like that much? I didn't like this. And it's kind of funny. Um, let me... Let me see if I can find a good image about this. Okay, what I don't like about Iggy is that Iggy started looking like this, right? Iggy started looking like this. This looks like a dog. And I like him like that, sure. But then he started looking more and more human. Like, I know it was because they're tr they were trying to give him a voice and make him, I don't know, ex make more expressions. But this to me looks so weird. Like, this looks like a dog. This looks like some weird, <laughs> some weird thing. Like what happened? <laughs> what? <laughs> like this, this, I, I really, I was noticing how much it started turning more and more into like a human. And I honestly think it's because um, they're basically trying to give him more, I don't know, expression, more the Jojo treatment. But I feel like we could have done that with the old style. This doesn't... <laughs> it's so weird to me. Like, why did, why did this need to happen? Hi, D DG. You thinking of an easel? Easel. Is that the canvas? Um, oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Thank you, DG. I needed that for a reference, but I wasn't finding um, a good image of it alone. Go back to dog. Yeah. I think it's just a Bruce. My pronouns are USA. I'm trying to make this real quick while we also have doing a little depth to the wood but not trying to make it like too intense or anything my pronouns are america and guns and beer and freedom
This is so crooked, but oh well. There's a thing on a menu, a restaurant near me called For the Gringos. I said like a Mexican restaurant saying like this is the non-spicy stuff. Or there's actually a dish called uh, Gringa, I think. Like a blobfish? Wait, what? Seriously, when I woke up after passing out, literally half of my head was gigantic. Oh no, what? What happened? I don't know if this is how it would work, but... I'm saying it is... This is how it is, right? has to be a little warped I feel like that's fine although the sad thing is that we're gonna have to erase um, a few of the parts inside the canvas and then Like this. I'm trying, Grubs. I'm trying. Too much geometry. Too much things going on at the same time. And there should be a last one. Like over here. Which comes back like this. Honestly, not super accurate, but good enough, right? Uh, oh my god, don't you hate geometry too? Well, honestly, I usually don't. But right now, wouldn't say I'm totally in the moods for it. I'm. I feel like it depends. Like right now, I'm pretty free flowy, and when I'm free flowy, I don't do well with things like this. So, like for example, this thing on front was a lot better, but now I have to erase it. So that's a little bit sad. That's kind of the thing going on, right? Like, no, I don't want to... Don't want to erase this. And yeah, and sometimes, especially because, honestly, this is, like, too big of a shape for me to work it out correctly. I even think I want to block it out with a few... Um with a few lines because I feel like it's so big that it kind of messes up with the style a little bit so let's do that real quick oh we also need to erase this part over here let's do that real quick with our line tool which we don't use often but 
Today's the day. Today's the day we get to use the line tool. Something that I don't like about the line tool is that, okay, let's say you have like an a line like right here. You can't continue the line because if you try to do so, you'll just end up stretching this one out. So what I do is that I do one like I do one like this, and then I need to do the complete opposite direction so that I don't stretch it out. So that's also a little bit annoying about it. Wait, I'm actually good at geometry, so I'll help. What I used to be good at, um, some math teachers would like that I would do really good looking, um, really good looking graphs, which I don't know if we were doing like, um, there were some graphs that you did where you started doing this and then you started doing the whole 3D thingy and then I would do that too and teachers would like that. Cars are so stupid that should be padded or something. Cars should be bumper cars instead. So that... Everyone can crash into each other. With no issue, right? It's just bumper cars. Uh, fun fact, two days later, after almost breaking my head on the floor, that cinema, I fell at school and bumped my head again. Um, that sounds actually terrible. Because when you fall, you, you really just, you, you really just drop and that doesn't sound good at all. Wait, I thought you were going to sleep, right? Am I wrong? Maybe I got confused. I just noticed. Not that I don't want you here if you were going to sleep or not, but... It is also important to look out for others, if so. I have a terrible sleeping schedule, so I know about it too well. Exactly, I was and got distracted. Alright, now's your chance. <laughs> Happens to me too. I get so distracted before going to sleep that I end up not sleeping at all. And I'm like, oh well, um, I feel like 
I end up saying, I guess uh, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Damn, this cold's making me sleepy. Oh, really? Wait, like, is it cold or you have a cold? You had a cold and you could play the trumpet? Wouldn't that be an issue? Or maybe it's, it's just cold and I'm misreading it. <laughs> By the way, what did you say you played on the trumpet? I never got to play my trumpet. I want to play too. Oh, you did say a cat's thing. That is, isn't that why I brought it up? I I feel it. The memory. So it goes like that. I think. Oh, the gold from the ice pack. I see now. <laughs> well, I mean, that makes sense. My dad uses like those types with a... Uh... For his mind grains. So... And then he sleeps with those. Some people sleep with... Ice bags. On their eyes, eyes, eyes bags, <laughs> kind of. You played Jurassic Park, like. Something like that? How's my trumpet skills, huh? How did I do? I mean, you're a trumpet player yourself, so rate me. Give me my rating. Uh, and yeah, the memory is the... I'm pretty sure it's that this one, right? The You played one note the entire time? Me? Damn. No skill. Or, or you mean like as a trumpet player, you just play one note and then other people make other, um, the other notes appear, right? Like since it's a group, your skills are amazing. Are they? Thank you. Excellent. If I not <laughs> at all professional opinion, what note do I play? I'll play it. Something like that. Ugh. It's funny to me to play my mouth trumpet. I honestly don't know if it really comes across really well on stream, but it's pretty funny. No, you were just playing one note. I was? Maybe I'm, <laughs> what if I'm just, uh, what do you call it? The opposite of perfect pitch. I'm like pitch deaf. So I was probably, I could probably be playing just one note. Who knows? <laughs> Tone deaf, yeah. 
Maybe I am. I'm pretty sure I, I can't sing well, which... But I don't know if I'm fully tone deaf. I'm not anywhere near close perfect pitch, so yeah. I be having perfect pitch. I always noting when a song gets transposed and it bothers me sometimes. You do? It's pretty impressive. I wish I had perfect pitch. So how how do you think I I did on my um pitch wise? <laughs> did this sound fine. <laughs> What if this is the moment that we discover that Leo is actually tone deaf? You guys ever use the character AI? What do you mean by that? I recently used ChatGPT for the first time. Um, honestly, it might be a good tool for um research. So, it's pretty interesting. And the other days I tried like arguing with the I uh, I end up getting into arguments with the AI, both Chat GPT and I also tried the Bing one. And I, I tried to give them names, but they usually reject having names. And I um uh... It was interesting that the Bing one every single time rejected a name or a nickname and ended up saying no I'm I'm Bing right and then I was like no you're Ben Ben is short for Bing this is your name now and they would always reject that but then one time just one time they didn't reject it and they were talking more human like and they accepted the name gave me a name too and it was really out of the ordinary, so that one was interesting. I was like, wait, is there a person behind this? Or why are you letting me give you a name now when you weren't letting me before? Uh, I mean, but my best friend loving it since she's using it to talk to her OCs. <laughs> That's interesting. Oh, is it that like those ones from Discord where you do like assign them a character or something like that. I used to have to teach me how to catch an ostrich. Yeah, um I was using it for research. Like um I have a few stories that I wanna make and I was like okay, let me see if this works. Um there's a few things of data that I know I would have to search around on the internet to find it like weight limits things like that so i i would just ask chat gpt like okay with which cars can i do this thing can i carry this with this and they would let me know sorry y'all I'll, I'll go now oh no need to say sorry uh, i'm glad you st you stuck around a little bit longer it was fun and sorry i had to send you to sleep it was just for your own sake. Uh, but yeah, good night, Jay. Hopefully see you next time. Wait, I'm going to drink another big chug of water. Ah, it's kind of weird with this huge, huge bottle. It's not on Discord, it's on its own side. Oh, I just saw a few Discord like screenshots, so I thought it was that. So no, I haven't done that, but it's interesting. How much, it's one of those, let me see. It gotta, it's gotta be a few gallons, but honestly, didn't have that much anymore.
It's like two gallons or three. I don't know. A few gallons. I'm not. I'm not drinking a few gallons, but it was for that. It's just that. Um, let's say I was using it. Um, before. And this is what I had um, at the start of the stream. I just uh, didn't have anything else available easily, as easily as this. It's basically empty, so <laughs> it's just a big... Uh, it doesn't have gallons in it. Um, it's uh, probably has like... Um, even less than a glass of water. Have trouble lifting up gallon jugs. But empty? It's, like I said, it's basically empty, so that's that's the only difference. I wouldn't be able to drink out of it if it was, you know, um, actually filled. That would be too crazy. All right. We need to do the feed. I think I'm only going to do this one for today. Um, just because I also want to get a few things um, before it gets too dark. Well, I guess it's too dark already, but you know what I mean. Before it gets too late, I guess. Um... But we need to start the coloring process soon enough. Although it's pretty fun, it's pretty simple that, uh... Yeah, I can lift up, um, a few gallons, but... Uh... Like I said, it's basically empty, and that's the reason why I'm drinking out of it. Like a permanent debuff. Let's do the legs. Oh no, we also gotta do a... Uh... I need to move this around. I like this shape, but don't like the placement. Actually, don't like the shape anymore. Or I like this squiggly line, but this needs to be like this. So we'll move it around a little bit more. I already found a wizard. I've had a surgery and I'm still using silicone tape on my keloids. Go for my scars. You're strong on your own way. I mean, I'm not that strong, so don't worry about it. I'm not uh, lifting gallons at a time. Even though it felt that way, I'm actually just... Uh, I'm basically lifting a big glass of water and that's it. It's not <laughs> it's not actually heavy because it has almost nothing in it.
Uh, I'll lift stuff for you. Let's go. Teamwork makes the dream work. Right? That's all that counts. Don't take steroids, but you will. You'll get Giga Chad. Leo Chad. Okay, now we're talking. We're getting somewhere. I just didn't want it to do the... What's it called? The Beatles as the I am the world worst thing. But like I said, I feel like I'm already taking too long. It'll probably have to be another day. Or I wonder if I could do it quickly. Maybe after we finish this one. Would be fun. To do it. But I don't know if I can. The, the reason. I wanted to tie things up for a video. Similar to how I did with the Mario one. And. I don't know if. Just one drawing will be enough. But I don't know if I can make more than one. I feel like that's the problem. I want to get strong on my own terms. Yeah, I would also advocate for um natural. I always like things that way. But I also feel like we were mostly joking. Natty or not Natty? Um... Oh well, these out of the question. Ah, oh, wow. I was sitting on a weird position. I gotta stretch now. Wanna go to the gym, but I'm lazy, poor, and I kinda like how soft I am. That's valid. I'm also pretty lazy. Uh, but I feel like I wanna do more physical activities. Um, I don't know, like. Ride a bike or something. There has to be something that could help me get more in shape, which is good. It's good to be active, but you know, I mean, I like dancing, but I don't do it often. I think I'm good at it, but.
the problem is that I think always the problem is gonna be my sleeping schedule. I feel like if you don't sleep well, you're gonna be tired all day and I'm tired all day. <laughs> then I end up not doing anything like that, so. I end up skipping physical activities. Together we are strong. Yeah, when grubs help each other, they become the Giga Grub. It's like a grub like this. This is the the Giga Grub. These are all of these are muscles. The Giga Grub. <laughs> All right. So many shapes around here. I don't know if this was such a good idea. Like this part is so messy, but whoa. Uh I'm just uh like usually I'm very aware of 3D spaces. Right now this chair is like this chair is actually like this. But Hopefully it doesn't bother too much, right? Not in this case. I feel like I'm just being messy, but it's like, yeah, it's over there. It's somewhere. It's a, it's a thing. It's happening over somewhere. It's meant to be there. Not for you to pay too much attention. Just, just there, right? Uh, I've been told that I'm not pretty because of the way my body looks. I just accepted it. I'm really tired to be on the face. Uh, that's pretty mean. Uh, I really think you're such a nice person, so... I don't think anyone who's nice can be ugly. And that includes looks. I feel like usually um, maybe people don't appreciate it, but there must be something that um, really nice about you. That's how I feel like good people usually have a good aura to them and that usually translates to looks too. You look kidly much.
All right, let's do this thing. It's finally time to color it. Finally, finally, finally. Oh, you look lit. <laughs> I was like, maybe kid is like a slang for cute. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. I'm scared. But let's see how we do. All right. For now, it's just about picking the colors. The bad thing about this one is that it's a lot lighter, so I kind of like this one. You know, I like big colors. Ooh, I'm kind of scared because we don't have... This needs to be actually full black. We're doing the colors. Oh. Uh, am I doing this? Maybe I'm coloring. Let's do a little bit of reshaping here. And. I guess this time we actually do have to go with the white. Like this. Is the red better for this? Maybe. Maybe also the orange is better for this one. Kind of like it like this orange. I'm going to ambient occlusion. What? <laughs> You're going to get beat up. <laughs> uh, the orange is the right color. All right, let's go. We're just, uh, I guess, messing with things. Let's see what we can do. Honestly, don't want it to make it look too default. So hopefully we'll make it look a little bit special, right? More than just, I guess this should be this. Ah, we'll make, we'll make this, this blue. Uh, oof, this one is hard to, um, I don't like filling in the colors like this right away. So I'll do blue for this, but this is meant to be black, I think. I guess we're gonna do pure black in a few places, um doing this one for this oh it's too light i guess it is this one then but we'll use the other one to fill some other areas i guess uh just testing out is this i guess we can use that yellow as um highlight I want to change my pfp but i'm too lazy Maybe put the one from my Instagram. I mean, as long as I can recognize you, it's fine. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I swear it was blue, but now it's people. Wait, what? Purple? What do you mean? Uh, 
Remember that purple isn't that isn't used much. Wait, what? My Jetix branding has always been purple. What is going on? Did I do something wrong? So is is it something related to the story about not having purple or is that just unrelated news? This one is like a purple. The all of this is blue. I swear you were blue. What? Oop, I forgot the other bit of the Are you talking about me? I'm also blue. Maybe you're talking about Jadix. I mean to be Honest, Jetix just looks white to me in his profile pic, so I don't know. Is it just about the vibes? You could never be wrong, King. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I'll never be wrong. Even if you were a support dung, right? Rights and wrongs. No, I'm never wrong. Probably never wrong. Maybe for once in my life I'm wrong. I just want to know what it's about. Is it about the vibes? You felt like Jadix was blue vibes, but they're actually purple vibes. Want to see my new drawing? Sure. Let me know if you send it. So that I can check it out. Maybe that's the reason why. There's a place between like around here that is very, very, let's say like this one. This one, or even here, it's almost purplish, but... And even in different monitors, you can see them. Um, yeah, that's true. And when you use, like, an orange filter, or if your... Uh, if your screen has, like, a little bit of a hue shift on it, it does look different. Like, for example, this looks blue on my main monitor, but in my second monitor, it almost looks like purple. Um, so I understand. I sent it, let's see it. Oh, send an OC? I'm very interested on, on what what is going on. Like what's the star? Why is it like why are they crying? What's happening? But it's pretty cool. I like how you did the whole light. Like it's very well intended. Really nice. Sorry that I called you blue. <laughs> Um, blue, da ba di da ba da. Uh, 
All right. Let's do a little bit of magic here. So I don't fully like how this looks. So would this color work? Maybe orange? Maybe orange works better. I want a color that... I feel like this might work better. And then... As a second color, it could even work for this, right? Yeah, I feel like it, it does work for this. Okay, so... While we are not cheating, and while we are not doing like different shades we're doing like small little gradients that will make it look i feel like this way it'll have more life to it um so we're still doing work of shading Check it out. But it's, we have to find the right colors, right? Maybe it's another like this. <gasps> Does this work? Ah. We need to find the right color. I'm probably going to go crazy before I find it, but... Um, I guess we'll just try. I also like your art, Limon. It was pretty interesting. It, it does end up being intriguing which is great if you want to like make an interesting story and I feel you're always thinking about OCs and stories and that's a good part about it makes you wonder what what is going on makes you want to know more thank you guys I will not eat you tonight <laughs> Yeah, I'm also saved. Does it just work better with white? It's hard to find the right color. Maybe a redemption arc is in the cards. Maybe. Now this looks like too... Okay. Uh, gonna go crazy, but there is something there. There is something there. We just need to find it. We just need to find the right color. And it'll work. Somehow. <laughs> Somehow it should work at some point. Okay, at some point it should work. I feel like I'm making an ice cream texture or something. But it's not what I'm trying to do. Right, let's see.
it's all about testing the colors. If not, then I'm just gonna do a plain color, I guess. Although that's a little bit more boring. Could I do this one? For this. Maybe this is the solution. Just the simple one, right? Sometimes the simplest solution is the best solution, maybe. Ooh, I think I know what to do. I think I know what to do. So, okay, let's use this one. And I know what to do, hopefully. Let's just copy and paste this just in case. You always got to go big or go home with the colors, huh? Yeah. You know, if we just did it like a simple color palette, it could work. But at the same time, I feel like then there's no challenge, right? We're just we're just filling in colors. But I think this is what we need to do. We need to basically and this is not cheating but it is gonna be like cheating because we're basically gonna create the colors that we want a little bit of a cross hatching slash dithering technique so this is gonna make whichever color is here look less um intense which is what we want right <laughs> i don't even know if this is working yet but it's about trying it's about trying this is our attempt at making it work We'll see in a minute if it works. Hatching is hard. Yeah. Yeah, because it takes time. But I think... Let me see. Okay, now if... So we're combining grabbing it out like this will probably make the blending a lot smoother. It'll make more sense. I still don't know if this is the right color, but... Remember, we can go to in-depth tonight unless you want to draw to a one. That is true. <laughs> uh, that is true, but... You're halfway to being a PC-98 artist already with the blending and the color palette limitations. Yeah, we're gonna get to that point at one moment or another oh yeah I need to finish this Ooh. we're gonna get at that point but at least for the brush I feel like this is the closest part to us maybe we can give it a little bit more attention but it's gonna be hard because I don't wanna just 
Okay, let's say we do this. I don't just want to fill everything up and say that's it and leave it at that. I actually want to make it a little bit more cool looking than that. Right? Hopefully we can do it. It's going to be hard. But there must be something that we can do. Jan, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know I take too long. This was meant to be several drawings and now it's just ended up being just one. I wonder if I should do like the the must paint color palette for this. What is it? I think it would be a fun detail, but does it work for, um, what is it? It's like red, uh, let's do green and yellow. Uh, this kind of looks like the MS Paint palette thingy. Ambition strikes again. <laughs> yeah, it does. I'm going to bed. Thank you for the stream. And remember, you're all, you're all our alive because I didn't feel like eating you tonight. Oh, well, I am grateful for that. Uh, good night, Dimon. Uh, have a good night's nice sleep. And don't let the bed bugs bite. See you next time. All right, let's get on with this a little bit. Let's keep on filling the main the main areas and then we can go crazy, right? Wait, where did the poop purple come from? What purple? Oh, this one? Um I was doing I was doing it like this, so I thought maybe, oh, wh where did this purple come from? Uh, I don't know. Let's ignore that for a second. <laughs> we can do another color. Uh, something like this. Now, which one is the most fun? Is it green? Because green is not a creative color. All right, let's get back to our, to our host to understand the colors. What's let's all right, I need to understand this. So what is it? It's yellow. Did you not know about the ability to summon purple paint? Huh? Yellow. Blue. Orange, red, and then blue again. All right, now I got it. Now I got it. Whoops. I kind of have a tumbler, but I do not know how to use it. I feel like um, it feels like an old website, so that's why I don't fully get it. This is gonna be hard. 
but let's do let's do this oh no all right uh what comes next the orange Orange shoe glad um I'm taking this long even though that's probably counterproductive, right? Ah Ooh. Your account, your choice. Why don't you get a Twitter, by the way, Neil? That could also work. We're basically all over there already. this what color is next red I should use red oh no for the white yeah not allowed social media oh, okay I understand My Tumblr is asynchronous. I see. I wasn't trying to push you. I feel like it's probably easier to manage because it probably goes under the radar uh, more compared to the others. Twitter, honestly, I feel like it has a bad reputation, but it's not that bad. If you follow the right people. Ramon doesn't know. I don't know. We don't want to alert anyone. I'm not trying to. Sorry about that. This looks very technicolor ish. Mm, what's next? And next. And next. Yes, I wasn't trying to push you into a certain direction, so sorry about that. No pressure from me. I was just, I guess, asking. Whoa, no. That is true. Uh, I guess you can find sometimes NSFW on, on Twitter. Uh, like this. Uh, 
just doing all of this with the eraser. Guess it kind of works. There we go. Or should I? I feel like I don't want the blue over here, actually. And so then let's fix this one a little bit. Or uh... Like this, and then this one with this color. I'm trying out new hotkeys, that's why I feel like I'm struggling a little bit. There we go, I think. Yeah, when everyone was making the move away from Twitter, when Elon Musk bought it, I, I did make a Tumblr, but honestly, I don't know how to use it. I don't know how to find other people like I did on Twitter. Things like that. I also feel the same about Instagram. I feel like Instagram... Like it kind of has... Potential, but it feels like so... I cannot see what people are saying or anything like that. It's... I don't know, something about it... Doesn't end up making sense to me. And I never thought I'd use Twitter, so sometimes it depends. Something clicks for you and something doesn't. And I'm not usually someone who enjoys social media, to be honest. Because I don't care too much about other people. But I don't know, I, I curated it with a lot of nice art, so I made it work that way. I feel you could probably do that with... Um, what is it with Tumblr too? Like I said, I just feel like the the UI feels old now to me, but that's probably mostly it. What color comes up next? Orange. And then what's next? Red. Then what's next? Blue. Then a final color, which would be yellow. Tumblr doesn't have an algorithm. 
You have to follow people or search sex to see stuff so you can reblog other posts to share with your followers. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I wasn't working out of the algorithm too much when I started on Twitter. Now it has changed a little bit, so I can see that. But yeah, it's a little bit weird to find your place sometimes in a new... In a new website. Alright. I don't even know how to make this work. Aside from this. Because I want to go crazier. But. Maybe I shouldn't. Let's see. Let's see what else we can do. So blue. Something that we could do. Could be interesting for this one. We'd start filling out places with white like this. I feel like I see it often on other pieces. So maybe that's something we can do here too. That would also work for things like this, right? Although I kind of want to make this, the other fingers, orange. I just want to go crazy with the colors, but I'm restricted. I'm restricted. Let me, let me color things like crazy. I'll do orange. I'll do, I'll use orange. for the skin like that. And let's also use this. Crazy, crazy colors for it. Crazy, crazy colors for it. Want to go crazy with the colors? Hopefully this is enough. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm liking this a lot better now. All right. So at least with the yellow, we do have something going on. So we do first orange. Like I said, we do first orange, and then we do purple. <laughs> Ooh, and we can also do purple for the red. Hey, Mimi. Welcome, welcome. 
there I say, welcome home. How are you doing? I'm eating almond filled olives right now, and they're ending my life in a bad way. That sounds. I feel like that sounds good, but <laughs> the ending your life part sounds a little bit more catastrophic than than I think. They're beating you up. I wonder if Luke can even work with this. I think it's a little accent for the for the purple maybe like this it's like a weird highlight I guess so good at sending my life oh I see I see it's to die for I get it now that's good We're just doing today a little MS Paint drawing challenge. So I'm just using the MS Paint color palette. Just this. But hopefully I'm probably going to make it look a little bit cooler than just the flat coloring, right? But we'll see about that. Hmm. I feel like I'm going to end up using purple for everything, for every single shadow in this drawing. It just feels like really fun. And it just works. Purple is just... uh good color that works for shadows like yeah this is my shadow looking color I could do black but I feel like I want it to be colorful um, enough right what's this guy's name Walter I mean they call him Wally is Wally short for Walter So, I don't know. I honestly don't know too much about this franchise, but I need to know a little bit about it. Because um, I do want to make a video about it, and I do want to mention at least like my thoughts on it. But yeah, so far I know basically nothing. So any info is appreciated, Walter File. Big line coming up. Phew. Another big line coming up. Uh, this one was messier. Please tell me one of the characters is named Saul or something adjacent. I thought about it when I saw the Walter.
but it's it's named something like Sa. Better call Sa. S A L. Something like that could work. They're all ba What if they were all based on um Breaking Bad universe characters? All the names and everything. This was all a big ARG for the next part of the Breaking Bad universe. I don't think any characters in the Walton files is called Saul. We were close. We were close. <laughs> hey, honestly. I'm starting to think that actually purple is our key to master this. Because look at this. It's like the perfect shadow for everything. It's going to be the shallow for a, our blue. But I also don't want to overuse it too much. Let's see if this works. Let's see. I think this might work. We could do it like this. Does this work as a canvas? I don't want the orange to be too distracting. If we did this, maybe. But I feel like that also might be distracting. Purple shadows go so hard. I was trying to give you my name on there, but it's not working. Uh, are you doing like... Uh, what is it? Uh, URL? Should probably try just saying the name, but not the URL, maybe? Something like that. Because YouTube does filter URLs, so that might be why. This works, right? I think, I think this works, but I... <laughs> Let's do... <laughs> I'm doing this brown. Then I'm doing the purple shadow. <laughs> Let's see if it works. It just looks so colorful that I feel like almost obligated to do it. But I don't know, I'm not sure. Maybe not for this one. Maybe we could actually do this. No, I feel like that's too much. <laughs> Was it better before? I mean, your walls. Was it better orange or is it good now? I feel like I kind of wanted this color, but I, if I just did the color, it wasn't fully working. So. Well, I think maybe this could also help us. Let's try this color because this one is also like a light purple. So it could maybe help us with light shadows, right? 
But I think it looks too bright, sadly. Um, let's see. I guess black lines like this. Let me think for a second. Okay, I'll copy this. And I'll go crazy with the colors again. Let's do this purple. Let's fill this like this. And then let's do which one would work well? Like this one. Does this work a little bit better? Because I don't like how bright it is right now. I feel like it messes up too much with the focus. I think this might be better. Yeah, the brightness I feel like was taken away from what were you what you were supposed to be focused in. So I think this is a good change. And the orange lines, I feel like they do help with keeping that place like that. Dice cutely. No, don't die. Starts breakdancing. That you can do. And then... Could this... Okay, the problem is this, maybe a much smaller line, I think that might be it. I'm not strong enough for breakdancing, no! But that's your jam! That's your grabability and all. Okay, I think this works better. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm liking this a lot better. Still. It's gonna be a lot of purple, but I feel like that's what we need for the shadows, maybe. They just feel fun this way. They just feel much more alive. I'm also going to do something with the oranges that end up touching a little bit of the purple. Let's see how this, if this works. So the orange, I'm going to change it into this whenever it's touching. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whenever it's touching the purple. Changes into this color. This looks good. This feels good. This makes sense.
What else? Over here, right? Over here. So what is something that I can say for the video about the Welcome Home series, huh? That's something that I still wonder about. I'm not sure what to say about it. Um, I mean, I could talk more about the challenge of doing the... MS Paint challenge but i feel like i want to mention this too a little bit but i guess it's gonna be hard if i know nothing about it it'll be the first time but it's kind of awkward i guess Like this. Hi, Postel. It's me at four. Switch into a new account. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. I've been streaming for a while, so it's nice to catch up with you, Grubs. How are you doing? We're doing an MS Paint challenge, so we're basically. Only using the colors on the Miss Paint um, basic palette. And I decided to do this character supposed to be Wally, right? Um, I guess they felt colorful enough. It makes sense, right? Cool challenge. Yeah, a little bit. I'm a little bit lost on what Welcome Home is. Um, I'll need to do a little bit of research. But I like the style. I like the idea. So it felt fitting, right? Let's do this. Oop. That palette does really well for the character. Yeah, it's almost like super, um, how would you call it, rainbowy. So it made a lot of sense. Oh, what? I accidentally deleted another layer. Damn. Let's do this. Hmm. I'm using too much of the purple, but I can't help it. I, I feel like it's the savior of our, of our piece right now. It's like the MVP. Like the MVP. Vibrant. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I feel like I could make it even more vibrant if I were to pick colors. Because if I were to pick colors, I'd be like choosing colors like this, for example. And doing this. But we're not doing that. <laughs> Funny how the man who paints looks like a Bobby's painting, does it? I guess there could be a way to do it. To see it that way.
like this. Need to get a job soon. Maybe over the summer. Yeah, talk about it. Me too. I need something to survive. Want that green? Oh, you mean the money. Give me the money. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally makes sense. That's so true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, for for me, I'm all about saving up the money, whichever money I get. But it is true. It's it's good to have money to spend. Yeah. Even though I don't give myself any. benefits from that but it's all about saving the money for I always feel that way for emergencies or whatever so about this next Mini snakes. Doing a little shadow for the eyes. Hopefully this doesn't look too weird. And I wonder if I should do like the cheeks. Because they do have like colored cheeks, but I don't know. Drawing blush on a paint can be hard because you don't fully get a color like that. I guess this looks fine enough. Um, let's do right. Hear me out from time to time eat an orange peel as a joke i feel like i've done something similar to that uh where i from time to time i eat uh more like a lemon peel or something like that as a joke i'm like look at this it's funny look at me make funny face let's go Leo, don't say least. The silliest grub in the grub army. The most powerful soldier. 
that blushes is enough yeah i think i think it works you know usually the struggle is that um blush usually works like this where the where the sides are like a little bit blurry i guess i mean we could do that does this work better we can totally do that if we do do it like this and then grab this one we copy we it doesn't have to be like this Then like this and then we have that blush right does this feel better or uh where we I guess at the same time, I'm also not using this type of brushes for other things, so I don't know which one works better, right? Because now we have this one. Like I said, we can... You can have it like this. Or it's a little bit more. Blushed out. I think it works fine. All right. Uh, what else? What other color? Are we missing? So the highlights would be like around here. And then the Dark color would be like this. Right. What else? What else? Do 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 do. Is the peach an internet yolk? What else? What else? All right. Honestly, this is not the purple that I like for this kind of shadow so I'm wondering the problem is that this color doesn't fully fit the bill maybe it does does it work better maybe Maybe another shade on the wooder board of the painting. Not sure what it's called again. What do you mean by that? This?
the problem is that we only have um, this set of colors, so... So I'm not sure which one. Yeah, the lighter blue looks very good. Purple. Yeah, I guess, I guess. The problem is that, like, if I were to use a color, I'd use something like this, for example. Like, for the, for the shading. Like, this is a purple, let's say. I would use this, and I would use this, but this is not from the challenge, so no can do. Do you have a lizard? It's pretty cool, if you do. What kind of lizard? Something like this. I found you so... <laughs> I see, I see. I thought you had a pet lizard for a moment. I was like, what, really? I would like to have a skink as a pet. But I guess no can do for now. I just don't feel like I have what I need to be responsible for it. So for now it's a no. But I wish I had a blue tongue skink skink kind of made it sound like something else maybe this would look good in blue i wonder but i'm guessing i'll have to do actually black It looks a lot more black, so I'll do that. And though I'm scared. Uh, shade in the wooden board of the canvas and the wooden area. Yeah, but I don't know which... What I would do instead of it. What do you think? Because maybe I could just... Um, Maybe you feel like all the orange, like which color should I replace? Like the purples? I like the purples, um, but it is a weird color. If we did this. Um, maybe this. Just making a test. The problem is that, yeah, it's a. Uh, I feel like there the pur purple kind of works. I'm not sure if other colors work, but if you have any suggestions, I'm, I am open to it. Just let me know, like, which color to which color. You can say, um, you can count this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, or uh, just say number three, second row, or something. Pretty difficult. Yeah, it is. 
I mean, I guess it's part of the challenge, so it's not gonna be perfect as if I were picking the exact color that I wanted. But... I guess this time we're a little bit more up to the... The must paint gods. They decide, not us. Now I have the Peaches song in my head. Like, Peach, understand. I'm gonna love you to the very end. Peaches, Peach, 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 Peaches, Peaches, Peach, Peach. Love you. What is her so? Well, I do. I do use this kind of shapes and things for uh. When I do, I feel like that happens a lot when I do um, water type Pokemon. I use that a lot. Hey, John, this looks so good. Oh, thank you. I'm trying to do the challenge with only this set of colors. So it is a little bit tough because I wish I could use some other different colors. But yeah, who knows? Someone licked his hair. Yeah, I could use a little bit of, um, could also do, maybe, to make it look more like, like hair, more lines, right? Although they, I feel like they don't show up as much, but I guess it's important too, right? So good, thank you. I'm trying my best. You're the reason why you use them as paint. Oh, really? I mean, you don't need to use them as paint if you don't want to, but... I'm glad I did inspire you. <laughs> That's so nice. I love using them as paint. I think it is super fun. I know it's not the best art program, but you know. In the end, it is actually the one that I do know how to use the most, ironically. And... It is always super fun. Ne never fails to amaze me. I honestly really like the the type of um, textures that it gives with the pixel stuff. I'll try testing around it at my MS Paint to see how we could do more shade the wooden areas. Oh, sure. We still have time, so... Go ahead. I was also struggling with this. Like, the shades of brown that we have are difficult to work with. I feel like that's that's the reason why I am. Uh, I also struggled with it. But yeah, there must be a way. I just don't know it. I just don't know. About it. There must be a way.
even though we don't even have purple in the in our palette yet in our wooden board I think this looks really good. I do want to use this color, so It's like 1 a.m. here. Good night. Good night. Thank you for coming, DJ. And have a good night and don't let the bed bugs bite. See you next week. I hope you had a good time. Had a good time, good time. Someone here is sexing. Someone among us is texting. There's a Texan among us. Uh, Dip might be texting. That's true. That might probably be the case. But I don't remember. Div? Div was here the last time, I think. And I think, yeah, they did. Um, that sounds about right. That red love. <laughs> Looks a bit sus. Maybe. By the way, hi Kit Kat. What if we actually left this as a little bit of um <laughs> Let's actually make make it happen. Let's make it sus. How are you doing, KitKat? Welcome to the stream. You gave me the best idea. To hide an Among Us over here. No. So it is an Among Us, it's just like this and this, but I also don't want to make it too distracting, so that's why it's like that. Um, To choose, not me to the same result. Should I stay even up? Should I finish the stream? Um, if you need to, you should rest. You're having breakfast right now? That's cool. What are you having for breakfast? Oh, Lady Tid, alright, I think I'm going to bed. Alright, Lady Tid. See you next time. Hope you had a good time on stream. And have a good night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Bye bye. <laughs> I should finish this up too soon. Sadly, I won't get to do the the other ones. The egg color on the second row might do well since blue is pretty dominant. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's try it out. Might be true, might be true. Let's see. Let's check it out. Right, I, I just think I would need to change the... Um, the oranges that I'm painted like dark red. How does this look so far? I, I think I would need to change this to the purple then. Like this. French toast? Oof, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm jelly too. What do you think, Rubs? Yeah, maybe it's not as distracting as it doesn't overlap too much with the other colors. Let me know if I should use this one instead then. Love me some cinnamon. Oh, I love cinnamon too. This looks good. Yeah, I think we can use this one. It's a good suggestion. We just need to change. Oh, no, no, no. I'm changing. Oh, okay. Like this. And then this one into this one. Like this. And I think. Jack thinks he would take on a Komodo dragon. Aren't basically Komodo dragons poisonous? <laughs> it's like people who think they could take on uh what is what is it? There's some people that think they can take on chimpanzees and things like that. When chimpanzees are like so damn strong actually. So it's like, you know, I probably would have thought I could take on a Komodo dragon before too, but I've actually battled against, what is it, like, um, I battled against ducks, and I feel like ducks would be weaker than a Komodo dragon, and I feel like ducks are actually pretty strong, so, um... Sometimes it's a little bit about um, we underestimate the powers of the animals. Just like we underestimate the power of the dung beetle, right? <laughs> In actuality, I am the strongest. I would take on the Komodo dragon. I can actually do it. So we're going to start coloring with a lot of black in here because I think this also looks nice in some areas I guess um, just to block off a little bit more
Hello, Beetle. Hello, Cotton Cat. How are you doing? We're nearing the the end of the coloring process, and that might mean also the stream, but really nice to see you. Uh, today we're doing this basically Emma's Paint Colors Only Challenge. Although, I think right now I'm handling it pretty well. Doesn't fully look like I'm just using the MS Paint colors, but at the same time, yeah, it's only that. It's just that it looks colorful, right? So hopefully we're doing well. How are you doing? Mm. I'm just trying to do my best. Let's see if this. Mm hmm, mm hmm, like that. Crying, no, why? Do not cry. What happened? Got a cut on my leg from shaving. Oof. Those can hurt. Should probably put something on it so that you don't struggle no more. That's a bit rough. Should I color this with... No, I think that looks fine, I guess. Good times. I almost cut my skin off my wrist from a sh razor because I thought you were supposed to shave your arms. Uh, I think you're not, but I've known some people who do. Um, but I don't think that's the norm. And be careful if you ever do that because that gets me a little bit worried. But I'd like to think you're fine. Whoa! Hey, Cotton Cat. I woke up late, so I missed most of the stream, but here's something. Oh, thank you so much. You didn't need to, but I really appreciate it. Too kind. Uh, 50,000 bugs, which is two bugs. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, where are we doing this color for this part? I guess so. I don't even have our pair. Yeah, then maybe it was a little bit too much for... Too much risk for too little reward. I was 11, I thought all hair was bad. What? I, I think that does happen when, when you're younger. Um, especially um, some people at school uh, may mention things like that. And it's like, it's really not that um, weird or um, uncommon to have hair. Everyone has hair, basically. So... But the drawing looks good. Thank you. Uh, 
I'm turning on every inch of my body here. Do you need to or do you just like to? I don't shame. Ah. I think we're almost done. I'm just seeing which areas we are missing. Checking that we don't miss anything. Wait, what? Where's my... Where's my cursor? Oh, there it is. Was just too small. I just say when I feel like it, mostly in the summer, it makes sense. Beauty sensors are weird. They are. Did you know that um, people didn't used to shave in the past and then that became a beauty standard and it's like, what? The beauty standard before was to not shave? It's pretty interesting. I'm an age. I don't like to shape because past mistakes I have to now. To have fluffy blankets. Fluffy blankets. Makes sense. They're nice. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else? That'd be a fluffy blanket enjoyer. Wait, what's this? What's this part even supposed to be? That one makes no sense. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see this color over here. I mean, like, does this work? Just trying to see what works. Then maybe I should. I could see a fluffy blanket feeling like super smooth with a with shaped legs. It makes sense. The world fe feels smoother. I feel like, have I used every color? This one, this one, yeah, yeah. This one, this one, maybe I didn't use this one. Maybe I could use it for this, right? So that we feel like we have used every color. Maybe for the hair too. Wait, wait, did I miss? I'm gonna go to sleep. Bye. Uh, good night, Chubby, Chubby Jesno. Hope you had a good time and see you next time. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Bye bye.
something like this. How about second column, fifth color? Did you use that one? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I was just, I was actually thinking about that when I made that um little assessment or question, but I know exactly where to use it. It should go right in the canvas. We're gonna make it like in some areas where gonna crisscross like this but good catch maybe it's like uh feels like too tiny of a use but I feel like not every color is made equal, I guess. <laughs> this was not the strongest warrior in terms of colors, but it works for this. Because, yeah, it's like a little bit of a clot. So. Kind of giving it that texture. And I guess we could also do it over here, maybe. Or could this work with this one? Let's see. Maybe in the end, this one actually work with this one. What if... No, I feel like it just has to be like one way or the other. I'm not getting it. Kind of went in, wanted to make it mixed, but I feel like I'm not achieving that properly. So detailed. Love the colors. Thank you. Even though they're the basic colors only. <laughs> But in a way, we still got it to work, right? Oop. Maybe. No, maybe just like this. As if it was like a white highlight this could work i'd be fine with this and i kind of like that this brush strokes change too does this work what do you groups think before I, uh... I don't know. It also still kind of looks weird. 
That's it. It's no longer valid for me to stay up. It's totally fine. Um, you should go to sleep. But thank you for being here. Um, I think it was a fun day today. And I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time, Leo. Have a good night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. I should say I love how you use the colors together. Thank you. An angry good night. <laughs> Have a good night, Leo. Don't let the pet bugs bite. See you next time. Oh, I think this might be it. It just needed more lines like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. What? Ah. Hey, Pisco. How are you doing? Stream is almost ending, but we're doing like a challenge. Only these colors, right? So. Nice to see you, though. Um, I think I didn't see you since I've come back, right? Haven't seen you since that. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I do need to finish the stream so that soon so that I can eat something else, grab what I need before it's too it's too late. Um but I'm doing good. It's been a fun challenge. Even though I don't know too much about um Welcome Home still. <laughs> but how are you doing? Alright. Let's finish this up. Ooh, I kind of want to do a little bit of shading here. The bottom lip, basically. Should the eyes have a little bit of an eye bag? Yeah, I feel like they should. It makes it pop out a little bit, even if it's like super, super subdued. Like that. Go touch grass for a second to warm you up. Yeah, basically, I need to touch grass soon. I do. All right. Oh, I missed this somehow. But now that means I recommend watching Night Mind's explanation of Welcome Homes after you touch grass, of course. <laughs> uh yeah, I I heard that that was the useful one. Um and I'll check it out. I do want to know a little bit more about this um Welcome Home stuff before making a video, but I would love to make a video on the on the challenge at least. But I feel like it's no good if I don't also kind of know a little bit about the subject, right? Let's actually do a little bit of coloring here. Feeling crazier. 
I know it's almost done. But I kind of want to make something. No, maybe this one. I don't want to do some spots all over the place so that it feels like I should visit the streams more often. Oh, I'd be really glad if you did. It's always nice to have you here, Gross. So, I'm trying to do this every Monday again. So, hopefully, I'll see you. I'll see you more often. Yeah, like this. Yeah, I'm doing a lot of little dots. That's what I want to do. Especially for the clothing. We're going to go crazy a little bit on the on the pants. I want to do um Does this work? I also want to do it here. Let's do it everywhere. Maybe with this one, I guess it should be still blue. Regular streams. <laughs> I do want to stream more often, so... But so far, it's only a plan. It's not, um... <laughs> uh, it's nothing set on stone, but set in stone but I'm working on it I'm working on it yeah so right now I only have the Monday MS Paint streams I'm back doing them every Monday since I did stuff for a while uh oh bye Pisco it was also a really nice time chatting with you nice to see you again um Hope you have a good day. See you. Mm -mm -mm. Good night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Doing more and more. All right. I always say I shouldn't go crazy with it. I feel like maybe I should grab an area, probably this area, and work on that. Let's see how this... Let's see if this works. Just want to... It's about giving the one besides some spotting, right? Like this. With this one. Like this. Just seeing this makes me want to do the whole, the whole thing. Like, look at this, look at this now. I feel like it looks a lot um, more fun right now. The dung beetle dithering. Yeah, that's right. We're up to that stage. And I think we won't do it everywhere. But maybe we'll do it enough so that it 
kind of makes sense, right? Like, just in a few areas, just going all around. Looks like a cupcake. I don't know why I want to eat it. <laughs> you can see why the dotted, the typical things you see in a cupcake. Like very birthday cake like. Birthday cake texture. Looks appetizing. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we're kind of getting to a good place with this. Um, this would be a good area to do it. Because of how it feels like it's blending a little bit. Uh, which color is before this one? Right, it kind of makes sense. It kind of feels like we're doing something fun with this. I don't know why I wasn't going to do this, but I just felt it was right. And so far, it feels like it is right. I don't know why it feels a little bit more organic. I felt like the lines, since we don't have too many colors to work off, maybe I felt like the lines were too restrictive. So now with this, they blend a little bit more into each other. And to me, this makes more sense now. Right, they feel like messy, they feel like they actually have a texture. Maybe, maybe it's working. Hopefully, we're not doing it everywhere, but just enough in a few places. Yeah, it's like the colors bleeding to each other a bit. Yeah, just a tiny bit in good places that you would kind of see it. Let's go back here. Just paint a few dots in a few places.
Nothing too crazy. Ah, I kind of want to do this. Crutch this. <laughs> yeah. It is, I guess. You could say that. In a way, I guess... I guess it is, right? There's no denying that. Wasn't trying to um, imply it, but... Like, how can we get away from that? There's no way. It just is, right? I kind of feel like that's too much. Maybe... Maybe like this. Over here we can do more, yeah. You're only tutoring the most important areas, right? Yeah. So are you done doing the pan tutoring? So are you done after doing the pan tutoring? Um, maybe. I'm just looking at it again because, you know, it's it's kind of hard to, to judge. Oops. It's kind of hard to judge when there's like... Not necessarily I don't have the same you know chances that, that I do normally when it comes to um what I'm painting, I guess because I usually use whatever color I want, but I guess right now we could do details in black like this, which could help with the shading a little bit. And details in white. But even after that, it's probably not too... Um, there's probably not too much we can improve. I don't know if this even looks good, but... Just trying to do like a little bit of a texture. I don't know if that kind of fa I kind of failed at it. I think looks like wood now. Oh really? <laughs> Maybe. I'll I'll try doing one more over here so that it doesn't look too out of place. And then. Let's see if this works. In theory, this should kind of work. Right. Maybe we could do this same thing for this. Instead of all the different weird colors that I did. I don't know. I'll do a little bit of that. Like over here. Let's do that. Let's do that in two areas and let's see how it looks. Oops. I'm just basically doing lines and then kind of erasing them a little bit. We can do that in two places, although I kind of did that 
thick ones over here, but I kind of also did one, did that over the other area. So, who cares, right? Who cares? Let's just do it and we'll see if it works. And if it doesn't, then we just don't do it, right? Oh, we don't undo it because too many strokes, but we kind of already want to do that too with this. Can I do that with the pants too? <laughs> I feel like that would works super well for here. Hi Sale. How are you doing? We're almost at the finish line, but at the same time I keep saying that. So who knows? I'm doing a little bit of a challenge, right? Doing only the MS Paint color palette. Seeing if it works, if it doesn't work. Who knows? What is Welcome Home? Well, I wish I could answer that <laughs> myself correctly. Um, I don't know. It feels like someone created an interesting concept for a, for a show. Which would be called Welcome Home, as far as I understand. And as far as I know, it should be like something that looks for kids, but it's actually like a creepy lost media or something. So, yeah, it's like that idea of like, oh, remember this show, which had like a little creepy thing going on? was like a lost media, but nobody remembers it or something. At least that's my interpretation, but I honestly, I'm not sure. We'll see about that. We'll have to investigate. Welcome Home is an, let's see. Welcome Home is an ARG, which is kind of hard to explain, but it's some kind of horror series. With a kid's show backdrop. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of Don't Hug Me I'm Scared. Which had a little bit of that thing going on. Isn't that idea getting a little bit repetitive now? Um, You could say that. You could say that. Uh, <laughs> I think. I think it depends. Like sometimes if you're a fan of something. And. But maybe you already ran the thing to the through the ground. Then maybe you want something new, which could have that same concept. And I think that could be fun to have, especially like for example, let's say uh, shows that I want to make, stories that I want to make. Sometimes things like that, those still fit. Um, inside of other tropes, other types of stories that we already know. But, you know, sometimes you already, you want to create that type of story with your own design. And sometimes different designs appeal to different people. So I think that's something that is important. Like, for example, let's say there's something that I want to create that is very much inspired by something that already exists. Yeah. Um, maybe my thing could be redundant. But at the same time it's like. Well but this is my own version. And this is the characters that I want to do for this. Things like that. It's. Yeah. Maybe it executes the idea uniquely compared to everything else. But who knows. Yeah. It, it all depends. Like sometimes you can be a fan of certain designs but not others maybe something similar doesn't appeal to you like 
maybe you weren't that into, I don't know, puppy playtime or puppies playtime, but this felt more appealing, this felt more subdued or more artistic. Maybe, like I said, you were like super into Five Nights at Fridays, but you feel like it's already old and this is a new thing which has that same thing going on. But yeah, uh, things can be repetitive when it, when we get to have too many of one thing. But, you know, sometimes it's what people like and, and that's it. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I, I am curious about it. I just thought it was the perfect fit for, for our challenge. Like, feels colorful enough. I never had anything that I wanted to make like that had enough colors which fit in the Emma Spain palette but this I feel like this really does so took my chances and I think I want to make a video about it so that's why that's why I'm doing this I want to be more consistent and make more videos more often right yeah, that's something really important. I love how much work and soul the author puts into it. There's a bunch of little details you can find. Yeah, there's probably like... The, pro the author is probably a fan of things like this, which would mean they would probably put a lot of attention to the details. It's like every time we get a new... Yeah, like this, like an ARG. You get a new experience and you get a you get something new out of the author you know the drawing is great don't get me wrong oh yeah 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 this aesthetic and story is pretty good yeah no uh, i feel it i feel it is it's i like the muppet kind of style it's a fun one. But yeah, it can there's a point where it will feel a little bit cliche. So that is true. Uh I guess that's something that if you're creating a story you could be careful about or you should be careful about. But at the same time I feel like if you want to create something, just create what you want, right? I feel like stories that I want to do probably have been told before in some other type of way. But it's also pretty fun. Alright, I think it's pretty late and I think this is it for the drawing. I'm not finding any more adjustments that I need to make, I think. So yeah. I mean, the point of our ARG is discovery, discovering little things here and there. Yeah, that's true. Well, all right, grubs. I need to stretch. I need to eat something. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you soon. Hopefully I'll make a video out of this. I don't even know how because I need to discover the whole lore of Welcome Home. It's time for me to make a deep dive, <laughs> right? All right, grubs. Was a nice stream. Hopefully you had fun and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, grubs.